Hi, I'm just going to do a quick review of the Adafruit uh, LCD display. And this one's the 913. Nine thirteen is the uh, three and a half inch, and also the um, nine twelve, which is the uh, two and a half inch, which I mounted on a board. Okay, and they're actually constructed differently. Um, I have it connected to a Raspberry Pi, and. What it looks like. Doesn't seem to want to focus. But that's what it looks like. It's a uh, quarter VGA, so it's 320 by uh, 240. And the uh, LCD display, uh, I think it's a LED backlight. And uh, comes with a driver board here, electrical driver, and it comes with two RCA inputs. And so you just need to connect one to the uh, Raspberry Pi, and either one will do. If you connect one, it'll, it'll just automatically connect, it will automatically find the AV, the input one or two, so you just connect to either one and it'll just find it. And then the uh, power input is any 12 volt. Um, it's got the ribbon cable here, which you could just take out and put back in. And it's got three buttons here to set. So it's uh, you push the middle button to select. Select brightness, color, contrast, and reset. So. Uh, Button on the left to lower, button on the right to raise the brightness, color, or contrast. So the middle button just selects. Okay, and uh, that, that's it. That's all it does. And you gotta provide your own um, power supply any 6 volt to uh, 12 volt to I think 15 volt, 6 to 15 volts it'll take. Uh, 12 volts is probably optimal. Um, that's all it comes with to shield it. Okay. The uh, panels shielded the LCD. Um, the other one is the uh, 912. So if you go to adafruit.com and put in uh, 912 you get the, uh, the, the the three and a half inch uh, display LCD is display the 912 is the uh, smaller one the uh, two and a half inch display uh, it's the same thing it's uh, the panel here and, um, and a driver board here this one it's uh, it's a little different this one the uh, button down here just flips it horizontally and these two buttons change the contrast to the brightness. So brightness that uh, up and down and um, flips it horizontally. I made my own input RCA one in an RCA input and I made it run off of a USB. It's supposed to take uh, six volts to um, to uh, fifteen volts like the other one, but. Uh, I find that it also works with um, USB, so I connect it to a USB. And it goes on. And uh, you just switch the input. Just plug it in. And it just works. So if I hit this button here, it's 
to flip it around. See, it flips it around. And then the contrast is here again, once again. But the uh, contrast only, the, the brightness only changed the brightness of the uh, LCD uh, display there. It doesn't actually lower the uh, brightness of the backlight. As you can see, the backlight just bleeds right through. So you can see when I dim it, that the backlight doesn't actually change. See, it's almost like dark and, and the backlight doesn't actually change. Backlight again is an LED, both of them LEDs. Both LED backlights and both very thin. Uh, this one is not shooting in the back. There's no shooting. The uh, bigger one has a sh has shooting. Small one doesn't. And um, shooting the um, smaller one, the uh, 912. Um, it's got four pins. Okay, the video input and the uh, power. The two black wires are the same. They just give you two wires just for convenience. Um, that's the board. Again, the ribbon cable comes right out, so you separate the LCD from the uh, driver board. So if the, something wrong with the LCD, you could replace the LCD without replacing the board. Uh, also, the uh, ribbons are different sizes, so it's not interchangeable. So, this LCD is not interchangeable with this one. The, the uh, ribbon is, is different size. See, this one's much bigger. Okay. So, you. Uh, both of them are quarter VGA. You can actually run them uh, off of VGA. And I have done that, but uh, the display is really blurry when you do that. So native resolution is 320 by 240, but if you up it to 640 by 480, you, you could make out most of uh, what's going on. Um, so this is quarter VJ that I'm running off of here. As you see, it's still, it's readable, but if you set it to any higher resolution, it's not going to be that easy to read. Okay, so that's the comparison, both of them running off uh, uh, Raspberry Pi. And, uh, okay, let me just... Small one. And you gotta just plug it in and it just finds it. See, I just plug it in and it just into either either one of the inputs. Either, either input. AV1 or AV2, and it's it just, it just find it. So if I switch it right now, they just find it. It just says AV1. It just disappeared, but it says AV1, and they would switch it, it'll just say AV2. And if you just unplug it, It'll just assume AV2. Okay, so if you, if you got nothing plugged in, it assumes AV2, so you kind of get, if you want, I mean, which one's which, you have to kind of guess, but actually, actually you don't, because uh, AV2 is the green and red, AV, 
One is the uh, yellow and white. And if you want to cheat, it's right here. You can just cheat. As you can see, AV2, AV1, and the power. So the red and black is power, yellow and white is the uh, AV1, AV2 is the uh, green and red. So that's it, and also both of them uh, come with a, just a box, and um, a box and a bubble wrap, and it's not anti-static bubble wrap, it's just plain bubble wrap, which is, just comes with that, just a piece of plastic, it's not anti-static, and has no instructions, so you have to look it up, you have to look it up on uh, Adafruit, okay, no instructions. Um, That's all you really need. It's just just a uh, power supply. Just wire your own power supply. It's the only thing you really need. Um, there's really nothing else you need. All right.